we'll get going now. So uh, thank you all for attending. My name is Juliana Stonehouse. I'm the Student Experience Coordinator at Career Space with Trent University. Uh, my main objective is to make sure that all of the students are having great uh, experiences inside the traditional classroom, but then also you're getting some outside of the classroom experience as well. A part of that is hosting uh, the volunteer fair uh, that we have going on today. And we're just so pleased that the World University Service of Canada can be a part of that. Um, so just some housekeeping items. If you do have questions, we'll save those to the end. We'll have about five minutes left after the presentation for you to go ahead and ask your questions. Just put that in the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen. Um, and without further ado, we are welcomed by three representatives. So that is incredibly exciting. So I'll turn it over to you three if you wanna do a quick introduction of yourself and then you can get going with your presentation. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Kushbu and I am Recruitment and Training Director with WISC for the coming year. Um, Carla? Uh, hi, my name is Carla. I am a fourth year international development student and I am also a Training and Recruitment Director for WISC this year. Hi, my name is Ahmed. Uh, I'm a fourth year student at Trent University and I'm one of the co-chairs of the World Infest Service of Canada at Trent University. We are the local committee team, representing the local committee team uh, for this presentation. Um, WISC is World University Service of Canada, and here we are to represent the Student Refugee Program, which is at Trent, organized and held by the local community. So, who are we? We are a nonprofit Canadian organization. We have three pillars, education, employment, and empowerment for the youth all around the world. We are across 25 countries, which are mainly in Asia, Africa, and the America. Our vision is to empower young people, to provide them a safe and secure supportive environment for them to grow, where they can learn, work, and develop their vital role for country's development. All right, so as Kushbu was just mentioning, one of our main goals is that of education. Uh, so essentially we thrive and we, uh, we try to strengthen educational systems and to improve youth's access to quality education from primary school all the way to high school. Uh, particularly, we aim to do this for groups of girls and for groups of refugees. Hey, we also have another role that's employment. We provide some training to the students and the youth in general for them to have the ability to pursue their, their job opportunities and end up having economic opportunities around the world. The last pillar is empowerment, wherein we strengthen the relationships between the partners. We build capacity of social society, civil society promote volunteerism to reduce inequality, as well as help you to become leaders in their communities. All right, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about WISC from a more global perspective. Uh, so essentially WISC implements a program that is called UNITERRA, which is a leading Canadian international development program that currently takes place in about 15 countries around the world. Uh, so Essentially what they believe is that uh, we believe that women and youth are the driving force behind inclusive global development, meaning that youth and women are the future of promoting inequality at a global scale. Sorry, equality at a global scale. scale. Um, so also we aim to help youth become leaders and their communities. And essentially this is what, ha what are, we're trying for it to happen at Trent University. Okay, we also have uh, another program at Trent University, which is called the SRP program. This is uh, the Student Refugee Program. The program combines both uh, restaurant opportunities into Canada and also further education, which is post-secondary education. Uh, this program has been working at Trent since 1978, and it has helped around, it usually helps around one, 130 students uh, per year. 
uh, with a partnership of over 80 campuses across Canada. Also, the main uh, vision of Trent is to help refugee students have a good quality of life for themselves, for their families and their communities. Therefore, we are going to strive as a, a Trent community that supports and welcomes refugees. So what do we do? On campus, we have various roles. For example, the local community is responsible to organize activities and events in order to raise awareness on international development issues. Social media plays a key role, wherein the role is to reach out to communities around the world via social media. Local communities are raising awareness and funds to support the refugee young girls via maybe coffee Zoom sessions during the pandemic, obviously, and webinars and many more interesting activities which are yet to be discovered. All right, so I bet many of you are asking the question of why you should become a part of Voice Get Trend. Uh, so some of the reasons we can give you is because it improves access and quality to education, not only to refugees that are uh, part of the student refugee program, but also for the uh, domestic friend community. It strengthens skills, training for employment and entrepreneurship. Again, not only for domestic students in the trend community, but for all those who are partaking in the student refugee program. Um, we promote gender equality we foster volunteerism and peer-to-peer -peer networks. So we try to enhance those connections, not only across Canada, but also within the trend community. Uh, we increase, um, we have an increased understanding of what refugees, development, uh, peace and conflict issues are around the world. Uh, and again, we're not only trying to uh, share this information with all of you, but we also want to learn like about everybody's uh, personal experiences. So it's all about enhancing this knowledge. Uh, we also provide with opportunities for advocacy and enhanced civic participation. And if you also do decide to become part of WUSC, uh, you will be provided with hands-on experience in fundraising, organizing, budgeting, cross-cultural communications, and many other uh, initiatives like that. Hey, you may be asking yourself, how do you get involved? We actually have lots of opportunities for our students at Trent University. And one of them which is currently available is a social and event director. Uh, if you would like to apply for this position, let me just let you know what you have to do in this position. Uh, you're going to plan all aspects of social events organizations, uh, especially during the pandemic, it's going to be remotely since uh, this school is now in person for this fall semester. And also, you're going to work closely with the finance director to set budgets uh, for each event. Also, you're going to organize uh, classrooms over Zoom uh, that are going to be presentations regarding about WOSC. Uh, uh, WOSC issues like, for example, refugee issues which are concerning to, to, to the universities and also the local secondary schools and other organizations as well. Uh, also, you may need uh, to attend regular meetings via Zoom during this fall and maybe in person in the coming semester. Um, if you want a more generalized idea of, WISC, of what WISC is all about, you can become a general member. By being a general member, you essentially volunteer with various directors, wherein you facilitate fundraising and events with resettlement tasks upon arrival of new students. We are not doing that this year, but we definitely have refugee students from past years in our university, and we are gonna provide support to them. This year, you guys will be responsible to facilitate events virtually and help the directors to accomplish their organizational goals. General members get to work in their areas of interest for example, if you're interested in finance, you might be able to work with director of finance. Or if you are interested in fundraising, you would be working with director of fundraising. 
and this is how you can switch between the departments and gain hands-on experience and decide for yourself whether next year you would want to apply for one of the director's position. This is how you will build your skill set and enhance your skill set to be ready for the world out there. All right, so now as our presentation is coming to an end, we wanted to get you all familiarized with what the local committee for this year looks like. So for the 2020-2021 academic school year. Um, so then we have our co-chairs, which are Ahmed, who you've been hearing speaking somewhere above me or around me, and Kimberly. Uh, we have our internal communication director, which is Jan, and then our external communication director, which is Chasia. Uh, our fundraising director, who is Farwa, uh, our recruitment and training directors, which are Kushbo and I. Uh, and then we have our financial directors, Mark and Shayan, the settlement coordinators who are Theresa and Theta. Uh, plus we also work really closely with some nursing and social work practicum students throughout the year. Um, and then we have some other general members just as Tinkai, Nisha and Prakar. Uh, and social event directors, like we were just mentioning in the previous slide, it's still to be determined. So if any of you are interested in doing this position, please do so. It's going to be a great time. And we have an amazing team with us this year as well. Hey, uh, you may be asking, how do you get involved to us? And how do you, how, how are you going to communicate to us? Okay, there are lots of ways that you can reach to us. One of them is through the Instagram by just accessing through the trend. You can see lots of uh, things which is about uh, Oscar trend in general. And you can follow us there to know all the events which are going to happen soon. And maybe if you would like to reach to us directly, you can just email us using our email, oscartrent at gmail.com. And also you can follow us, follow us through uh, the Facebook of Oscar Trent. And in case you need to know more about Oscar Trent in general, you can visit our website through the link there. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Just as a reminder to the uh, students in attendance, if you have any questions for your peers, um, please put it in the Q&A and I would be happy to answer. I just wanted to say, Kushbu, when you were talking about um, that connection between getting involved in your first year, seeing what you maybe would like to do, and then making a decision, you know, if you want to go on for a director's position, I think that is incredible. And we kind of talked about that in this morning sessions with the TCSA when we were talking about, you know, you just got to put yourself out there, even if you don't think that you have, you know, the experience or the background or whatever, really what it is, it's just like putting yourself out there, getting to know what you know, you might like or might not like, and then that can lead you on, on a path. So, and I guess in terms of sort of outside of classroom experience, which, you know, is part of my mandate is to encourage students to do that. It's, it really is such a wonderful opportunity with your organization and others on campus to, for students to put themselves out there. Um, so well done. I thought that was a really, really great point. Thank you. Yeah, and obviously you are, you have adapted to, you know, COVID and the pandemic where you're doing a lot of this stuff virtually, which is wonderful. It's really great. So I know that's not easy. I went as a department at Trent as well, sort of making that switch. It's, um, it was tricky, but completely doable. And I commend you, you know, as students for, for doing the same thing. So well done there. Um, in terms of the, some of the questions we we're getting this morning, and, and maybe I'll just, um, put some ideas in, in some of these students' heads here. In terms of the, the overall commitment um, for your different um, positions that you have, um, you know, what are you looking for during, you know, in a, in a week? Like I know, as you know, um, students are quite busy and they, they're being pulled in many different directions. So in terms of the, the commitment that your organization is looking for, can you talk about number of hours and, and when you can start and, and that sort of thing? Yeah. Uh... Okay, uh, actually we are looking for at least two to four hours per weekly uh, kind of activity. Mm -hmm. uh, this includes like uh, maybe per weekly meetings via Zoom, which is after every two weeks. And maybe you may have to do your own kind of position. Like for example, uh, I'm the coach and I have to see 
to oversee lots of activities going on. So I may be, I may be doing at more than four hours per week, depending on what we need to cover in that week. But usually it's two to four hours per week. That's um, great. I think that's yeah. completely doable within uh, a student schedule. So, I mean, that's a, that's like the best of both worlds. They can be getting experience outside of the classroom in, you know, a wonderful organization, but then they also, it doesn't sound like it's going to take away too much from all of their sort of in-classroom studies and responsibilities as well. That's yeah, great. We, we also, time. yeah, we also totally understand that all of you guys are students, like all of us are students as well. Uh, so we're definitely like flexible as well. We're not expecting uh, any like sort of like heavy commitment either. Like we're just looking for a lot of participation, lots of hands on, you know, like if you just want to pop into a Zoom meeting because we all know classes, having classes over Zoom all the time can be a little tiring. But like even if you just make an appearance for a couple of minutes, we'll be happy to see you. Like we'll be happy to talk to you and just like knowing that we'll have your support, you know, and that we're also here to support you anytime. It's just, it's always great. So like, we're super flexible, you know, and like, it's just, it's always great to have anybody on board, even if it's just a couple of hours. Yeah. That's great. And I also love um, how you pointed out that, I mean, typically, you know, from the outside looking in like World University Service, you know, it sounds like maybe um, you know, an IDST, some, you know, for a student, I know Carla, you are in IDST, but like you've also talked about marketing and promotion and, you know, organizing a budget and that sort of thing. So, so I think that's really important. And again, we talked about this in an earlier session today where, you know, there's so much more to an organization than just sort of what you see from the outside. There's, you know, there's, there may be a spot for, for everybody, no matter what discipline you're in. So I really like that point as well. Thank you. That's great. So I'll just check in here. Doesn't seem like there's any questions. Do you guys have anything that you'd like to say in closing? Um, well, I would like to say just to like touch upon that point that you were just mentioning about like, it doesn't really have to be like in your area field of study for you to get involved. Uh, I am an IDS major and I do want to focus eventually on immigration and refugees. Uh, so just like from that perspective, I can say it's like, it's super important to just like be aware that of like what the situations are, you know, because immigrants and refugees like are like have a huge part of what societies are, especially like at our trend community, just being such a diverse, uh, just like academic like uh, area, like and school in general. Like it's just really important not only for refugees and immigrants to know that we are here to support them, but also that the domestic Canadian. Uh, that community knows, you know, that like we are existent, that we are a vast majority of like what trend a uh, student's body is looking like. So just, you know, create a little bit of that awareness and just try to like support the peer connections all around us is also very important in terms of like creating an amazing and just like healthy work and school environment. So yeah. That's wonderful. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, with that, I'm probably going to close this out. Um, the students in attendance, thank you so much for taking the time to attend this wonderful session. And um, obviously, these folks representing the World University Service um, are accessible to you and you um, can um, access the information that was just put up on the screen there. But if you have any further questions, you can reach out to those guys or you can reach out to myself. I'd be happy to put you in touch with them. Uh, and in closing, thank you to the panelists. You did a wonderful job. And uh, thanks again to the students. Okay. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us and thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.